Weather Forecast with meteorologist Patrick Evans. Got a pretty morning out there, but it is also pretty chilly as you step out the door. Folks are uh, enjoying a hot coffee down at Starbucks on El Paseo in San Pablo. A little breeze out there as well, which makes it feel even cooler. We have frost advisories and freeze warnings up in the high desert locations as you get into Victorville and Palmdale and Lancaster. Uh, none of those applicable to us, but we are seeing very cool conditions. Ridge of high pressure building in is going to keep skies nice and clear. Plenty of sunshine over the next several days and also a little bit warmer, but not a lot. Generally speaking, the temperatures are going to be running about 10 degrees below our seasonal average. The skies are clear across the Southland this morning and with the clear conditions and lighter breezes, we're seeing a little more of that radiational cooling when the atmosphere allows the heat to escape back out into space. And that's exactly what's going on. And that's why our numbers are so low. 48 Palm Springs, 37 in Desert Hot Springs. We've dropped to 10 degrees, nearly single digits at Big Bear. Pretty cold stuff. 44 in Thermal, 42 in Mecca, it's 45 in La Quinta, Indio and Palm Desert. Winds are fairly light, but there is a little bit of a breeze out there, so be aware of that as you head out this morning. Just a, a reminder to kind of layer up. We're going to warm up in the afternoons, but it will still be much cooler than normal. A uh, whole batch of cold air dropping in as the jet track marches a little farther south, so we've got a more wintertime setup with the jet stream, and it will stay like that through the weekend. In fact, the reinforcement of colder air, you can see this little dip in the jet. That moves a little closer to us, so I think the numbers will drop again as we head into the uh, latter part of the weekend early next week. So none of these temperatures are showcasing daytime highs anywhere near our seasonal average. Today, lower 70s. Uh, as we move through the weekend, we're going to see very similar numbers. Might be a degree or two warmer, but not much. The average for the date, 82 degrees. This uh, sets up a really great looking weekend weather wise, but it will be cool if you got a tea time early in the morning. You want to make sure that you double check with the golf courses, make sure there are no frost delays. Veterans Day looks very good, low 70s. We remain in those lower 70s through the week. Next week, we might even see highs back in the upper 60s. So pretty chilly stuff for this time of year. All right, let's go back over to the anchor desk. Okay, yeah.